Hello, hi, how are you today? Hey, are you ready? Are you feeling this energy? Chances are you felt it probably a few days ago if you're at a little bit of a higher vibe. Now, for those of you who've been doing the Twin Flame Body Work with me, you probably felt it a week ago. So some of these things may be things that you're already experiencing, but for other people, we're going to get into this right now. Hi, my name is Patricia and welcome to my channel, which is about ascension and specifically all kinds of twin flame stuff. Let's get into it. So in this super moon, this is a super moon energy. And lately we've had some solar flares. So you're having an effect of being shoved energetically in your body. This is a very body centric. This is very earthy because it's going to affect your life. And it is distinctly for people who are the front runners. So people, if you feel like you're in those waves that are like the pioneers of ascension and twin flaminess, it's, it's time for you to get out of the weird twin flame landia stuff and really focus on you on the individual side of your union. Okay, you are an individual who is part of a unit. Yes, think of it that way, because that makes it a lot easier when you think of like, well, what am I doing on my side? What, you know, what do I do that positively affects the other side, even if we're in a separation, even if it's close, but, you know, no cigar, right? So in this hunter moon in Aries, there's a lot of energies, okay? There's also some sensibilities of Virgo in the sense of renewal and kind of going from dead to alive. A lot of people have been feeling tired, exhausted, and along with that goes kind of fed up, sad. You're wondering if this is ever going to happen. And when I say this to you, what I mean by this is rest where you can, Okay, because there's things you're doing on another level to bring everything down to earth. Okay, it's shoving you like a king tide. If you don't know what a king tide is, this is just a common term. It's not an actual nautical term, but it, it means when the sun and the moon is having the influence to make the water rise higher than before. But it's for earth. It is for your earthly lives. If I were to give you a visual... Think of a tsunami wave that comes in, but then recedes. And when it recedes, what you see are all those little things. And, you know, sometimes it's dead fish and it smells like corpse. And there's all these dead things, right? And that's your healing. It's like, what do you need to heal? Where should you focus? Where are you plucking the weeds out? Where are you getting rid of these dead things? So you can sort your life and go from dead to alive. So I have some recommendations for you. This is through my guidance. I do automatic writing at night. I get woken up. This is what I use my wake-ups for. I use them wisely. And then I fall into like the most lucid, delicious sleep ever. So here's what recommendations are. Create a new budget for the last quarter of the year. And you might say only three months yeah, because what you're setting up in these three months, you want, it's like you're laying seeds out there, you're flipping the switch for the solstice, and it's some of the setup for next year, okay? We're literally within months of a new year here. This whole year has flown by. There's a time compression squeezing you to go to the exit, get out of the old paradigm. And this is what some of these energies do, is they're making you flow in the direction that you need to go. It's exhausting, okay, because it's a lot of movement. It's a lot of involuntary moving and shoving and jostling against people and their energies, and you're tired of it. Natural. It's natural to feel tired of it from time to time. That's when you got to pull your oars out of the water and stop trying to steer and control it and... Make sure that you're doing your part by floating along and get ready to put your oars in the water again, okay? Because you're going to have to 
take some things onto your shoulders or actually just you know using your hurt energy to do this so creating a new budget for the last quarter i'm going to have a link below to help you with this so that it, it makes it easy for you to kind of you know have the prompts and see what are the considerations one of them might be gift giving if you celebrate and you want to give gifts or something like that or donations or something like that okay now the other thing that this super energy is doing is it is forcing people to really look at their work and this isn't just something where you say well i'm really tired of the nine to five grind i can't do this nine to five job anymore what is the reason you can't do the nine to five job anymore? Because you will need an income when your twin miraculously arrives and it will feel like a miracle. You that's a given. OK, you're already you already have those connections and those seats. Right. But you're weeding your garden. OK, you still have to tend to yourself. You still have to care for yourself. And this is the biggest thing. And why we march is that there is a true equality in this where you're not expected to have the short end of the stick. But yeah, you may still have to work. It may not be at that place. It may not be with those people. I have literally helped people create miraculous solutions at their workplaces that they didn't even expect simply by working with their light body, their marma points, their meridians and chakras. And it's been amazing. And I mean like ding dong, the witch is dead kind of amazing, where even I have been humbled at how well it works. So let's get back to work and other people and concerns that you have about this. What are the concerns? Are you tired? Do you feel like a square peg in a round hole? Are there narcissistic people at your work? Colleagues, vendors, bosses, um, people who are over you? Are there tough situations? Are you thinking of going to court? I don't recommend it as a twin flame. That will tangle up your root stuff really badly. I don't recommend it. Not, there are only extreme circumstances. There is another way, okay? And this is when we have to shift ourselves from those old mindsets of, I hate work, or I hate this because it hurts me. I hate this because I have no life. And start to shift it and really look at what the practicalities of your earthly life, what is it that you need, okay? Even I work, I mean, people, people think that, you know, maybe if you work from home it's not work it takes a lot of discipline and it takes organizing and it takes a lot of effort and it's made easier by your higher connections with the etheric twin this is one of the keys is that your soul wants to look out for you now there's a next step in this in order to set up your earthly life with each other for each other and together so that things are coordinated and aligned and that you're not feeling like you know the team of horses where one's veering off the track and the other one's doing this and you're just getting dragged along what it means is that you're aligned with each other properly but it's done from up here it's not done with your mind because yeah we can have scary minds we could be like if only i get rid of that person who's a narcissist in my life everything will be perfect. Well, that's kind of Virgo. Virgo wants perfection, but that's not really the way it works. Okay. May have worked in the old paradigm, doesn't work anymore in the new paradigm where you're going. Okay. You have 5D connections that I will help you activate and get this going for you. So this is how it works. This part, your mind, your ego mind, the ego, your ego, personality partner that you're presenting to the world and naturally wants to protect you but it's not always coordinating or aligning okay it's insufficient it's not big enough you have larger structures to your light body that make it easy for you you have a causal body you have a spirit body you have a much larger 
crown connection to 5D that goes straight into your heart to steer you and guide you. Okay, so that's where I come in to help you with this. This is the explanation for why is this not pop psychology? Why can you not throw daggers at people and not have them feel affected by it? They have their senses, just like people will sense you changing on them. And they're like, hey, where's your, all your buttons to push? Okay, so work, okay? Maybe you like the work, you don't like the place. Maybe you work like the work. We got to start from somewhere because these are some of your foundational things. Is it keeping you awake at night? And here's a really big question for you. What is superseding your focus on your twin flame? Because all these things will amount to a major distraction if you allow it. What are you allowing to come up in your path? And like suddenly that thing becomes the most powerful thing in the universe. You can't do it. Don't go there. I'm highly recommending learn how this works. Learn how to use your light body so that you can get refocused, re-energized and feel supported. And then when I say feel loved, it's not like, you know, oh, brotherly love. We're like putting Daisy in our hair and playing the guitar. You can do that. I don't care. Okay. It's not my thing. But how it works is where it feels like the road rises up to meet you. The doors open for you. The right connections come for you. This reason, this super moon is a major gateway for people that are going to utilize it properly. You got to get out of the mode of like, I wish I were with my twin flame. Because guess what? They have their individual stuff on their side. They're still a human. They have biological things they're dealing with. They have ancestral things they're dealing with. They have family stuff. They have this, that, and the other thing, right? So you got the same stuff, right? We can make a list. That list is going to be your list, but it's going to bring up other people near your union. What is it making you or your twin flame do? Are you falling into bad habits? Are you falling into karma? Are you thinking about going on dating sites and saying to hell with this? I'm going to chuck it and, you know, see what my chances are out there. What I can tell you from personal experience is two things. One is that you will get the weirdos. OK, if you're already activated as a twin flame, it's going to be a short lived little trip with down weirdo lane. OK, the next thing is that. Are you helping your twin unplug some of these weird connections? Okay, weird things that they're just filling the void that is not a void. It's where your heart and love energy belong. So let's be real. Are they falling into mild addictions? Have they taken up smoking? Have they taken up uh, drinking? Have they decided to gamble? Are they self-sabotaging with some of these mild what they consider mild, socially acceptable things. This is what people will say. They're like, well, I drink a little bit, but it's socially acceptable. To your soul, your soul is like, let go of that stuff so we can move you along here because it lowers the vibration. One of you has to be willing to like fish or cut bait. This is a part of the hunter energy. Okay. Now, some of the other hallmarks or like symptoms in this energy is going to be major sugar cravings, especially for women. <sighs> Are you having sugar cravings? Well, let's like look at the general atmosphere here. There's a lot of stress in the air. OK, especially if you're in the United States and especially if you catch the news media. What you're going to see is a lot of negativity. And the news is fear mongering. OK, it's not that they're just reporting news that happens. It's like they loop it over and over until you're locked in. They've got you locked in and suddenly you're stressed, you're anxious, you're fearful of the future. You're like wondering, like, what about my family, my kids? Can I ever own a property? Can I ever own land? Can I, can I, can I, can I? And oh my God, now there's an election. And oh my God, and next thing you know, you're skittering around and you're all scattered in your mind like chicken little, like the sky is falling. Okay, stop it. <laughs> 
The first thing you cut is stop watching news media. Now this can filter into your dreams if your twin flame is watching it, okay? There's a reason, how do I say this? Like some of the reason that these things are happening, it's solar flares, okay? The sun manages a lot more of our weather, weather than the cars we're driving or the planes we're flying. And the hypocrisy of people that take planes to get to places and then turn around and like bash it is kind of like, you know, a little bit of like a little bit two faced in my opinion, but people are just afraid because it's out there. Okay. When I say it's out there, it's in the collective mind. It's in the atmosphere. Well, that's stress. When the body feels stress, it reacts. Okay. There's a memory of really bad times. That's what I want to remove because the memories of those really bad times in your cells, your cellular memories will inflame, will become an autoimmune disease and will make you sick again. Okay. We're here to break these patterns as pioneers. Stop getting sick again, but it takes your part. If you have sugar cravings, here's what you do. Get a little extra protein get some salads okay one really easy way and i've done this you get a bag of spinach and you eat it like chips and pretty soon your body starts feeling like it's getting the nutrients they need i have a lot of these tips in my inner healing book how to do intermittent fasting for twins so that you're clearing and you're doing things in a healthy way and you're giving yourself the live principle of food that is alive where your body actually needs it, okay? Putting it right in where it needs it. Like, how do you put in the light and the love? Well, part of it is what is grown in the sunlight? What is grown in the sunlight? Fruits and vegetables, okay? You have a salad. <laughs> it's that simple. Don't reach for the sugar cravings. Now, what else is happening this time of year? A lot of parties, Day of the Dead parties, Halloween parties. I know because I've been invited. There's a lot of treats. There's a lot of uh, things that people, you know, there's candy. Ever think about this? How much overproduction, it's not just overproduction, but all the stress of the collective that is there like making this extra stuff. Oh, the holiday is coming. Better make extra stuff. And how you know this is, it feels like as soon as you reach for that, it feels exhausting to you because you're feeling the fatigue of the people that, you know, maybe if some of us, what if a third of us sort of scaled back and we're like, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm going to have the protein and a salad or something like that. Right. And maybe some, sometimes it'd be like, whew. And of course that stuff goes on sale. Now I say this because I live in an urban area. I've seen these cycles and another one's going to come. You put that in your budget. What do you really need? What do you need to get? What can you make? Okay, something made with love is going to feel a lot different to your body than some of the, the stuff out there. Commercial stuff, yes, it employs people. Yes, people need employment. Yes, we all need to live and eat and earn and do and exist here. Some people have not been awakened and they are supporting your awakening simply by not just existing, but doing the things that keep things running. And you have to look at it in a larger scope. If you're feeling these things from the collective, you could feel salt cravings. Why? Because the anxious, nervous feelings, the stress right here, your body will want protein some salt because you're burning you're going through a lot of nutrients but it has to be proper salts okay this could be electrolytes that you put in some water and you replace or it could be alkaline water that has some additional things or also selenium is very good kelp is very good okay if you're having you know cravings combined with some nervousness, some anxiousness, okay, you're like, what the heck is going on? And your mind is like wondering and, okay, let yourself decompress 
and remind yourself there is a plan. You're here for love. No overindulging or slipping back into karma. Is that the old you? Okay. Some people overeat. When you and your twin, as we come closer together with these energetic alignments, that do you want that to be the message you send over to your twin? Like, oh, hey, but guess what? You can have this if your twin flame smokes, if they're smoking marijuana, if they're smoking cigarettes. We need to get down to the nitty gritty of this, of, you know, where is this negative stuff really coming from? Yes, it comes from the past and it gets repeated in the present. That's why they say history repeats itself. But it's not just large history like a battle. It is those personal struggles that repeat. Why? Because in karma, the mind only knows duality. In duality, the mind says, if I feel stressed, I reach for that. Okay. And for some people, that's not healthy stuff. It's cigarettes, it's booze, it's, you know, fighting with people. It's like we're checking a lot of boxes here. And we're checking a lot of root chakra stuff, root to crown. Where's the heart? Where's the heart? The heart's feeling stressed. So can you get it together? Now, let's look at the positive side of the super moon energy, what it is intending to help you with. So stick with me here, okay? This is new opportunities. This means for money, for career, and new connections. New connections mean you're unplugging old ones, making new ones, so that various doors can open for you, okay? I know this because some of the groundwork I've laid out there, I've really scratched my head. In a human way, I've scratched my head. Now, at night, I can see that I'm releasing people and I'm somehow connecting new ones. I feel the sensations of it, like a door has closed behind me, like, boom, I can feel the wind on my back. Like, it's a real sensation. Do you ever feel that? Well, you should. Because through your light body, you can feel what's happening on your behalf for both of you. So if you're not, it's really time to start this work where it's so gratifying because you can feel the progress. You can feel it. You can see it within your third eye complex from 5D. There's a lot of things that are really magical that make it so easy for you. Okay, not like the old way where you're like, uh, what's going on? What's that say on a license plate? Oh, I passed this and you're in your scattery with it. Let go of the scatter. And I'll say another thing about the mind and the mental scatter, your balance. Be very deliberate with how you're walking and you're moving in this energy so you don't slip and fall. I've had a number of people where they've reported to me that unfortunately they have fallen or bumped their head or somehow, you know, they're slipping. No slipping, okay? So the new opportunities, plugging in new connections, maybe for your next season and all you're writing it out here is maybe a month or two before that opportunity comes knocking for you. I've had people reach out to me and be like, oh, hey, you know, and I've been like, how did you even know me? Well, guess what? It's happening up here. Even if I feel very humbled, like, wow, it worked, right? It does work. I'm living proof that this works and other people as well. I just want to say something because someone asked me, hey, Patricia, could you provide case studies? Yeah, I can provide 14 years of case studies. However, I don't believe in busting people out when they're creating a new life for themselves. I believe in second, third, fourth, a gazillion new chances for people to get on their track. I might seem like a teacher who repeats this because these things go in cycles, giving a new fresh opportunity for people to do it, okay, to take action, to really feel it. So how do you not know that the traumas and the really vile things that people have had to endure and experience? I'm not here to say this publicly, okay? They can say it themselves if they wish, but it's not my job to do that, okay? My job is, which I consider I've been tasked with by God 
and entrusted with is to get people healed, seal up the past, and get them on track, get their new light body open so that this really begins for them, okay? And they really see the light at the end of the tunnel and not the other way around where they're just somehow still plagued with all those old things. This is the difference between this and psychology. Psychology takes much longer. Self-improvement takes much longer. If you work with your light body, it can go at lightning speed, at the speed of love, I call it, okay? At the speed of 5D love, like that was how my first awakening when I was 11 years old happened. I was hit with a thunderbolt so strongly while I was in the classroom. And we were standing in a, a file to get outside, like in a queue, to walk out of the classroom. And I almost fell over and stumbled. It was so strong. I didn't pass out. My higher self didn't want me to pass out. But that went right through my body and I was like, oh my God, what was that? And I just instantly knew things. And as an 11 year old kid, I was just like, how do I know this? Like, who am I gonna tell? What am I, you know, what, what is going on? But it was on purpose. Now I bet some of you, if you were to look in your childhood, really, you know, examine it, you could see these stepping stones that are leading you right here to this point, okay? So what are some of the other symptoms? Lower foot, leg, hip pains, and reproductive pains, like bad, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, bad cramps. Try some black cohosh, it's on my website. Are you moving forward? Now some of this pain, especially knee pain, can mean, are you moving forward? What kind of moving forward? Are you in a relationship that you kind of know you shouldn't be in or that you're kind of like, well, you know, uh, I thought this was going somewhere and it just, this feels like a dead end relationship. I can feel it. I can sense it. I know what I know. I don't know how, but my body is like giving me all these clues. Bingo. You're, you're having knee pain from not moving forward. Okay. Now be the hunter. What is this energy bringing out in people? Oh, it's some really good stuff. It means that the natural part of you, okay, not the part that's been, you know, wondering and feeling like you're forgotten or something or that you're fed up. You're full of drive. You're courageous. You're bold. You're confident. You're curious. You're determined. You're tenacious. You're engaging for those new things that you want, for work, for your new budget, for other people that are near your union where you could be like, you can't be so close to us. You can be here. That's going to be some of the exes. That'll be even parents or children. Children shouldn't be intruding their energy in your union. And they try. Even animal children like pets. Oh, my God, they get jealous. They want, okay, you're both going to love all these people. But, you know, they have to be in an outer ring. Now, if some of these things are speaking to you, and you want to find out how to use your body and really gain the tools and the techniques on using your light body that you can use again and again for new situations, okay? Because some of you will have different work throughout the rest of your life, a new place, and it should all be a step up, a step up, a step up. Even with soulmates that you've met, you shouldn't be eating, meeting the same old type of soulmate dragging you down. You should be meeting a better quality of soulmate. Even dating experts say this. They're like, start having some standards, girl or boy. They're like, start getting rid of your patterns, girl or boy. Okay. And you'll start attracting people. Who we are drawing towards us is our twin flame, the etheric twin, which does support us. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have seen people who've had a soulmate after traumas, after like really abusive, bad, sorry, beatings in a relationship or marriage. And they meet someone who's nice. And that person's kind of like, you know, middle of the road. Okay. It's not passionate like a twin flame. It can feel like a breath of fresh air. But if someone's soul deems that that person needs some stability, they will receive it, which is why it's important. Do the work to get rid of the wounds 
And that's why I'm having this. The narcissist wound, you heal it, heal the narcissist wound. Because there's all kinds of narcissists, even on a big scale. Don't think Putin's a narcissist? Oh, hell yeah. He wants to be the czar forever. <laughs> He's upset that his stuff was taken when he was in the divorce, okay? Like, we're in a world where this kind of energy just, like, we have to clip it off, unplug from it, and really plug into what's new, okay? Heal it. And for your love life, okay, a lot of people lose focus on this as love. They start thinking about ascension as like, geez, the world is falling apart. Well, let it fall apart. Geez, my mind is falling apart. Well, let your old mind fall apart. You'll still have intelligence. We're starting October 27th on Zoom 9 a.m. Central Time. I'm in Chicago. That means Central Time. But you can access from Europe or the West Coast, or even Hawaii, Japan, Korea, India, join us. We use your marmas and meridians, not pop psychology or labels. The only label you should have is lover. I'm a lover, okay, no matter what you do for a living. We're used to identifying ourselves as like, oh, I'm a nurse. Oh, I'm a teacher. Oh, I'm an energy healer. I am an energy healer. But first and foremost, I would not be able to do that unless I was a lover, unless I was saying, dear, how can we help these people whom we care about? We're people persons. And really lock in the energy, double energy, double 5D through source energy to get this done. So I hope you join us. The link is below. I know this has been a long video, but I was encouraged by the team, y'all have a team of guides that are helping you. Your team wants to move along and they want you to move along too. So let's all be courteous to each other, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, cut other people's slack. They're stressing. Please don't stress. You are some of the people on the planet who are aware you've been awakened. You are, uh, you have someone you're connected to. Okay, you're aware of this. You know there's a plan, and you know about there's another level of love. So cut other people slack. Be kind. Be compassionate. If you can't find your compassion, we're going to cover that in this, okay? Have a wonderful day, and please like and subscribe and share my video with other people. It drives the algorithm and will help me. Thank you. Bye.